My name is Rebecca Ramirez and I've been a professional tattoo artist for three years. Tattooing as a career came really naturally to me. I have always loved art. I enjoy the freedom of being able to express myself. My favorite style to tattoo is illustrative. I love anything with a lot of details, thin line work, stippled shading, and if I can throw some white highlights in there, I love it. I wouldn't limit my tattooing to a certain style. I like to challenge myself. Meeting the client halfway with their vision is really important to me. When I get here, I try and be completely ready for my clients beforehand. I make sure the atmosphere is nice and sanitary, nice and clean. Throw some good jams on, you know, get set up for the tattoo. Um, make sure everything's sterile, get out all my needles and start on the design. My future goals and aspiration as a tattoo artist Definitely to improve my techniques and uh, continue to grow and learn as an artist. People know what they're expecting when they get here, quality. The nice part about QC is that we're a small studio and we really get to know our clients on a more personal level. We're all really friendly. I'm always willing to meet my client halfway with their design and really bring out their vision. I love when somebody comes in for their first tattoo and then, you know, years later they're coming in for their 10th tattoo. Seeing a repeat customer, they're not even customers at that point. They're almost like my friend or my family because they have a little piece of me with them every day. And that means a lot to me. I really take pride in when a customer comes back years later and they tell me, I love this. I get to see you every day and thank you. And I love to see that my tattoos withstand the test of time and that it's something that somebody can hold with them every day and just be proud to wear. They call me Cream. <laughs> Legal name is Angel. I've been tattooing for about at least a solid three to four years. Man, I've been thinking about tattooing since middle school. Ever since I could draw on my hands and think about tattoos, I've been wanting to become a tattoo artist. It took me probably about 10 years after high school to actually get into it and leave the nine to five. Favorite style for sure, black and gray. Something about it, probably the whole culture thing, but trying to be that um, portrait guy in Omaha for sure, that's the goal. Yeah, I think the, the first portrait that I did, I it was on a friend of ours that came to the shop and I told him, I've never done portraits, but if you, if you let me do it on you, I'll just charge you cheaper. <laughs> and he let me, so. Ever since then, I've been doing portraits, thanks to him. Inspiration, probably for sure from all like other portrait guys, any other black and gray artist that's already doing it, you know, kind of learn from them. Have to learn from somebody who's already where you want to be. It's just kind of like a one-on-one -on -one thing here at, at QC with, with the client, then, you know, kind of like being in a surrounding where there's more people and and the environment's a little more crazier, so you kind of get that one-on-one -on -one here, for sure. Man, the goals for sure, like, without sounding cocky, you know, uh, I, I want to be the, the portrait guy, that's, that's just what it is. Like, I just want to be able to have people to come to me and trust me that, that it's going to come out nice. If you come here, you would you would feel the vibe, you know? It's, it's a little bit different. It's not your regular tattoo shop or tattoo studio, so you know, come by and get a tattoo done. Uh, my name is Jarek Rohde. I've been tattooing professionally for seven years. Usually the client inspires most of it, but I generally do small black and gray things that have sentimental value to them. Small black and gray, fine line stuff, anything that has some meaning to it that nobody else might have. A typical day for me is usually uh, appointments. I don't do much walk-in, so I usually know what I have ahead of me and future goals and aspirations would be to just constantly just keep learning. I'm never going to not be learning, so don't give up just because you already are an artist or you're past your apprenticeship. You should always be learning. You could come in and sit down and you could throw your headphones in and, and get your tattoo and not talk to me. Or you could come in and talk and it's almost like a therapy session. You're about to get a tattoo, you're going to relieve some pain. You know, some shops you walk in and the artist has his headphones in, you got your headphones in, nobody talks to anybody. You walk in, walk out. 
I like to get to know my clients and try and get you to keep coming back and work on pieces and things like that. So there's a there's a good vibe to it, you know? We're not just we're not stuck up asshole. Right? Becca's a stuck up asshole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, she's not. Don't let her lie to you. I'm the nicest one. Book with me. <laughs> she is the nicest one. Yeah, I'm pretty nonchalant with people sometimes. I'm not too I'm not always too worried about doing my design, but if that person wants something specifically, I try to listen to them and give them what they want. I don't wanna put something on you that you're gonna regret later on. I like having my clients come back to me years later and show me their tattoos or see you randomly at the store and be like, oh, wow, that tattoo looks good five years later. <laughs>